Good morning, YouTube. It's uh, it's uh, 4:25 on this Friday, end of the week. Uh, but I'm back to work. That's why it's back to the earlier times again. Uh, oh, excuse me. Today on Way Totally for Explanations, we're talking about interplanetary time tick, 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 tick. way too early or that higgs the chromosome the space the electrons light the magnetism all particles and momentum of receptors radiation are mathematics a solution asteroid what am i doing up um so last night uh let's see my best friend and his girlfriend and I were talking about um, how you know when when we when we start to go to these planets and we start colonizing these other planets like Mars, <laughs> Venus, maybe some of the others. Um, you know they have those planets have their their own time you know they they're gonna have a day that takes a different amount of time than earth day and a year that takes a different amount of time than earth year so uh you know we're talking about well when if we colonize them how long it would take those people to convert over to let's say we talk about mars Martian time and year, or Venus, Venus uh, day and year. So what is a day? A day is, is the amount of time it takes the planet to rotate once. Um, and a year is the amount of time that it takes that planet to, uh, to orbit the sun once. So, um, so let's talk about Mars first. Uh, you know, a Martian day is actually pretty close to an Earth day. It's only about 40 minutes longer. Uh, so it takes 24 hours and 39 minutes for Mars to to rotate around its axis once. So, you know, so when you talk about a Mars day versus an Earth day, that's not much time. Um, and it turns out that um, anyone on Mars probably wouldn't have to you know, do much adjustment anyway. We the the teams that control the rovers, the Martian rovers, the the teams here on Earth, they they actually um, they actually follow Martian time when they're doing their missions. So all, all their watches are synchronized to you know uh, twenty four hours and thirty nine minutes of of date you know as one day. Martian day. All their clocks are, are synchronized to Martian day. Um, and so, oh, excuse me. Um, so, you know, people here on Earth already convert over. Um, I thought that was kind of cool to read that. I imagine that, you know, when they have their clocks on the wall, they have, you know, how, how we have like Pacific time, some some companies or or government agencies or whatever um when they have an international presence they have like pacific time and east coast time and maybe i don't know asian time or whatever the case well i imagine at nasa or at these different teams that have their um that that have their martian rovers they have local time and then martian time and those different clocks are showing different things so I thought that was kind of neat um, the the Martian year so the Martian day is about as close to the Earth day the Martian year is about twice as long as an Earth year so uh, Martian yearly uh, seasons and whatnot are, are a little different than the Earth seasons but um, you know so their their calendar is a little odd um, again it's like twice as long as an earth here 
Now, when we get to Venus, <laughs> entirely different story. So uh, we don't we don't have any missions to Venus right now. So there's no teams that synchronize their clock to Venus time. If they did, though, the Venus day is 200 and something, 240 something days, Earth days. A Venus day is 200 something Earth days. A Venus year <laughs> is actually less than a Venus day. Uh, it takes longer for Venus to rotate around its axis than it does to orbit the sun. Uh, very interesting. Um, so it's very slow rotation. Also, Venus rotates in the opposite direction uh, than the rest of us planets. And so someone on the ground, on the Venus ground, um, if they think about a day as, you know, sunrise to sunrise, uh, Venus day on the ground will is like it's less it's like 177 days as opposed to the 240 that it actually takes so so we're we're timekeeping on Venus um, but eventually you know so in the case of Mars we already do use Martian time uh, and so settlers there switching over to Martian time should be pretty quick should be pretty easy for Venus time, I imagine we'll do the same thing. Um, you know, if we have any missions that go to Venus, we'll switch over to Venus time. Uh, because their day is so long, um, you know, they'll they'll have some different time scale uh, to keep track of what's going on. Um, you're not going to stay up for. 245 Earth days just because Venus has a long day or whatever. But anyway, fun to think about. Um, yeah, I gotta go get to work. You've gotta go do whatever it is you do. Uh, have a good weekend. Like I said, it's Friday. We'll talk to you on Monday. Thank you for watching another episode of Way Too Early for Explanations. If you enjoyed it, please click on the like button down here. If you want to follow me on Instagram or Twitter, I'll post links at the bottom of the description field. If you want to subscribe to my channel, you can do so by clicking on the subscribe button around here. If you want to get to my channel to see more videos, you can click on the link to Way Too Early for Explanations, or you can click on the eye chart that shows up in the upper right hand corner. Every morning I try to kick out more videos, um, so stay tuned and come on back if you want to observe more early morning technical battles. Thanks again.